Carissa Shields versus Vanessa Page for the WBF heavyweight and the WBC world heavyweight and the WBO world light heavyweight. And still, they're still saying if Carissa wins, she will be a four weight class champion. Welterweight, well, super welterweight, middleweight, super middleweight, and light heavyweight and heavyweight. You count that four? I have five fingers here shriveling like crazy right now. It, it, there's more than four weight classes that Chris has won. So the fight starts out interesting. And before the fight starts, it's just so hilarious. I managed to write down a lot of information here, which is interesting. Like I said, the following contrast, uh, contest is already ex- excluding enough fighters here. Uh, so, so Dimitri Salida is the promoter. Uh, I do know a little bit about him, but he's not mentioned as much. So Vanessa LePage gets announced first, even though she's the champion. The crowd boos because who gives a crap? But when the guy says in the announcer saying the next person wearing pink and gold trunks at five feet, eight inches tall, the crowd is already losing their mind right now. But it's even crazy because he announces all the championships that Chris has won, all the silver champion and super middleweight, all the champions and the Pan Am American champions, the world amateur champions, Olympic. He announces everything. (laughs) It's so crazy. Like, what the heck? So the fight starts out. They move on. Championship fight. Like I said, guys, it's already going to be an interesting, uh, interesting information. So here's where I wrote... Okay, so the commentator stated that there's nowhere higher for Chris to go, which I wrote. So Vanessa leads out, runs straight after her, almost like Pierre McNeely did against Mike Tyson, which was okay. That got me because I didn't know that (laughs) Vanessa was going to do that. Uh, 20 seconds in the fight, she would charge after Chris and knock her out to the ropes a little bit. But... For the first several seconds, there is going to be some jabs once in a while, and Vanessa would go some upstairs, and Shields would try to back herself together. Like I said before, like like when Vanessa charged after her, that was crazy. But she did throw a punch, just like how Pierre McNeely juggled, like he skipped to the rope to try to throw a punch for Tyson to throw his punch back. And then they started barraging punches at each other. That's not what Vanessa did. She charged after her and stopped and then punched. So about a minute into the fight, there's nothing much you could say. They were already holding themselves together. Like, this this round went by so... Like, they were studying each other in the first round to get each other going. I understand. And there were some good close jabs in the fight. But with only a minute and 40 seconds into the first round... I'm looking at maybe Vanessa won this round, but Carissa might have won this round. It was an even round. It didn't seem like no one was going to win this round, but the last 20 seconds, they throw out a punch. Carissa throws an unbelievable left upstairs to the cheek, and then she backs Vanessa to the ropes. There was all about punches after punch combinations. She blocks her to a corner, turns her around, and Vanessa's trying to clinch against her. She turns her body back to get out of the ropes and and Vanessa and Chris are trying to throw out punches. She's trying to block them. The bell rings. Good start for round one. So, yeah, it was a first good round. And by the way, while I'm at it, I also looked up on BoxRec and looked up the score. And it stated that eight fans on on BoxRec scored it. And the score was 9.88 to 9.13. Okay, so I guess... Maybe that's because there weren't. I'm sure if there were ten, I, I'm sure if there were ten fan scorecards, maybe it would have been a ten. So I guess I was. Who knows? I, I guess that might have been the reason. Um, yet again, who knows? So anyway, they're already stunning on each other for the next round. And as the person blows the whistle for the start of round two, we have this woman in the audience with random sunglasses, and she's pointing her. Face like this with her reaction going, God, this fight is going to be so damn boring. Oh, 
like, like, like the camera's clear on it, right? It's it, like it, she 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 did she, it just felt like she didn't want to be there. It's so funny. The camera cuts to a crowd in the audience, a, a few crowded fans just jumping up like crazy, just dancing, doing this crazy. Like, for some reason, a woman with a red purse is having a good time while holding on to her phone. Everyone is having a good time, but this little girl is just. Oh, <laughs> I started paying attention to her all the time. So the second round starts, and, and and again, Vanessa charges after Carissa like she did again in the first round. They start throwing out punches, but crazier enough, around 20 seconds in the second round, Vanessa is getting backed into the ropes, but she manages to clinch it away for Carissa. And then at this moment, while looking at the girl with this time with her hands down on her laps, the little girl just looking and like I said she has random glasses around to her sleeve right here and more and at the same time after she after Vanessa turns her body to back Clarissa into the ropes like a George Foreman type move she charges in she goes for a right misses goes for a right again Clarissa ducks she goes left and, like, she threw out a right, right, and a left. She was throwing fast punches, but Carissa just couldn't stop ducking them. And after that, she just threw combination after combination. Down goes Vanessa. She kind of bent her right leg, which is so uncomfortable when I barely saw that. And I see the girl in the audience, and this time she has her hands, like, in, in, in shockness. <laughs> While everyone in the audience is out of it, a woman next to her is, is just out of her mind. She's going, yeah, yeah. But her reaction was like, <laughs> it was great. Like, it was so great. I, I think I think she was trying to cover her ears because the crowds were screaming loud. So maybe it wasn't her reaction of shockness, but I think she was just trying to cover her ears because the arena was loud, I guess. But it was loud. So Vanessa gets back up, starts on a fight. She backs up Vanessa in the ropes, but it wasn't that good enough. She tries to get out of the way. Vanessa did. She, she turns to the right, but eh, eh, not good. Vanessa throws a right. She misses with the left, but down again. Vanessa gets back up. Vanessa's trainer is now entering the ring trying to stop this fight. And whether this was going to be a three knockdown rule or not, even though there wasn't, I'm sure the referee would have stopped the fight anyway. And thank God he did because Carissa just throws this unbelievable right punch. And it seemed like that. It, 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 well, first she actually fakes right and then she punches again. And that's down. It was a pretty good ending fight. The crowd's on to it. And Vanessa didn't hesitate to enter the ring. It was a great fight. And the, one of the photographers is actually... It's weird. There's a guy with glasses and a white shirt holding on to his daughter. And this weird photographer is bending this way to take photos of Carissa because she's standing onto her corner to the ring celebrating to her crowd for some reason. I, I don't know what that cameraman was doing. Like... He was getting closer in for some reason, but I, I think it was, I, I, at the end of the day, everyone's taking pictures, so there, there was nothing weird about that. But yeah, they celebrate, they show replays, they show um, Vanessa's trainer just shaking her head no and just not feel bad. Uh, they show replays of a great right punch that got hit by Carissa. They show the right punch in the second knockout, but they didn't show the third knockout. The camera cuts to Carissa celebrating um she hugs out the trainers and vanessa's team and then she goes up to her friends in the middle ring and they're losing their mind while there's a couple ring card girls just putting their hands like this just holding on but of course those friends are just out of their mind just celebrating everything and just posing with everything it was a great fight for what it is but here's something interesting the commentator, the commentator says, the commentator says here that for Carissa has won, like there's getting the hardware, getting the WBC, and also picking up the WBO light heavyweight title. And this is something interesting the commentator said. The 175 pound division has different names according to the sanctioned body. So technically, Carissa Shields kind of pulls the Sugar Ray Leonard and Donnie Lawn two division fight in 1998. 
1988. That's not what he said. I just said 1988, but mistaken. It. But, but yeah, that's actually crazy. It still doesn't make sense. And it's actually funny because I didn't know Sugar Ray Leonard actually fought in the two-weight division. I knew he took on a guy named Donnie in 1988. I looked it up, but I didn't know. When I later looked it up, it was actually a light heavyweight title and a super middleweight title. So that kind of shocked me. I didn't know that. Um, I, I think I did. It's been a long time. But, yeah, a good call on him. I would have never remembered that. But, yeah, they announced the winner of the fight. Announced the winner. Winner. New champion. New WBC. WBO. White heavyweight, world heavyweight champion, etc., etc. The glow, the T Rex, Carissa Shields, and Carissa just screams at the camera. She, Carissa's crazy facial expression after she's saying, "How do you like that? How do you like that?" She, she says it three or four friggin' times at the camera of the viewer. Like, what the hell? Is she like fucking Scott Steiner yelling at Judy Bagwell in 98 after Scott Steiner low blows Buff Bagwell and, and, and clotheslines on his neck on the top rope and yells at Judy, which was the same night where Rick Steiner, his brother, is yelling at Chucky in a Titantron, their promo, and the Warrior and Sting versus Bret Hart and Hogan match. Funny match, by the way. Uh, but it's like, what the hell is Krista Shields? Like, her facial expression was so devilish. I just, dude. <laughs> it was a great fight. I enjoyed it, and I loved every bit of it.